subscribe now. EU debates. Thank you, thank you, dear Prime Minister. It's extremely important for me to, to pay a second visit after the start of the war. And in fact, it's my fifth visit to Ukraine in about uh, 14 or 15 months. And it shows, I think, uh, the, the strong support that uh, we want from the EU side, uh, that we want for, for you and for your, for your country. You understand very well uh, across the EU that uh, you are extremely courageous, that you are fighting, you and people of Ukraine, you are part of fighting for your homeland, for the future of your children, uh, for your freedoms, but you are also fighting for our democratic principles, for also uh, our common uh, freedoms. And that's why I understand that there are two uh, important priorities. First one, we want to support you as much as we can with military equipment, with financial support. Uh, a few days ago we were together in Warsaw in order to encourage uh, many countries and many, many actors uh, in the world to support you with financial means, with three goals, humanitarian help, uh, liquidity, this is really important in order for you to be able to run the country, uh, and also to prepare the rebuilding of the country. I went to Borodyanka a few weeks ago and said very well that there is a, a devastation. It means that we need and you need to prepare the rebuilding of the country. Uh, an important uh, priority for us is also to uh, uh, put in place sanctions against the Kremlin in order to put pressure uh, on this uh, country and on the authorities of this country. Uh, we are currently discussing and we are close to agree on the sixth package of sanctions. And for the first Times it's made to an agreement in order to ban Russian oil, uh, and we are discussing the concrete measures uh, that we are putting in place also in order to diversify uh, our, our supply. Because the energy topic is an important, uh, it's an important one. It's also important for me to be here today in order to be perfectly informed about the situation on the ground, about the military situation on the ground, but also to understand better what are the tragic consequences for the world when it comes to the food security. Because I understand that it's in, in this important country, not only for Ukraine, but an important, it's in this important city, not, not only for Ukraine, but for, for, for the world, uh, this important infrastructure, the port is blocked because of this war. This is the decision to start this war that has, uh, that has the effect to block the port and to make it impossible uh, to export food, food uh, and it's needed for, for countries across the world, in Africa and in many uh, other parts of the, or, or of the world. Um, uh, this is a, a dramatic situation, an extremely complex situation, a very difficult situation, but I would like to, to say that my presence here is not only a symbolic presence because of May 9, this is important, but it's not enough, is also to understand very well how we can do better from the EU side with all the friends, all the partners across the world, in order to maximize uh, the positive effects uh, of our support for the people of Ukraine. <laughs> 